I am very, very proud to welcome to the stage my very good friend who I love dearly and Variety's Power of Women honoree, the one and only Patty Jenkins. Hi, you guys. Wow. Um, what an incredible honor. And I'll, I'll go in saying that I myself am not a public speaker either, Kelly, but you did a great job. And thank you for the kind words. Um, thank you. Thank you all so much uh, for being here today. Um, and thank you, first and foremost, to, you know, people every once in a while ask me, like, the question, who's your Wonder Woman? And I'm like, uh, it's actually Gal Gadot. <laughs> because. Because not only, it, it like takes a truly special person to, to, to go on screen and embody something for us, but this person embodies it every day, and I'm not just saying it, uh, in everything that she does, and you inspire me and teach me to be Wonder Woman, so thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> truly, truly. Um, there are so many incredible people I don't, I don't even get to name today. My, my incredible crew, producers, mother, wonderful studio, so many, so many people to thank for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Um, uh, my husband and son who can't be here, which is so sad, but really I, I just want to thank um, Variety for this incredible opportunity. What a, what a cool way to do this, to bring us all here to talk about something that we believe in. Unbelievable. I'm, what a cool thing. And, you know, my other honorees, Kelly, Octavia, um, Priyanka, Michelle, these are all people I admire. And, you know, and, and what a wonderful thing to get to spotlight this. Um, which brings me to uh, how I got here today. Um, I, I believe in superheroes. I believe in the myth of superheroes, and I believe in real superheroes uh, every day changing the world. Many of you are in this room, many. Um, when I was seven, I went to the movie theaters and Superman entered my life and changed my life because I saw myself uh, believe that I could be Superman, even though I was just a little kid. When Wonder Woman came into my life, it was a, a whole nother level because now I was learning the lesson of what it was to be a superhero myself, pretending to be her every day on the schoolyard um, and and imagining what it would be like to be both an, an incredible person as a superhero, but also as a woman in every possible way. Um, uh, so I'm a, I'm a believer in, in telling those stories and inspiring people with those stories, but the truth is my path is much more circuitous than that because I believe that everybody wants that. Who, who doesn't want to be Wonder Woman? Who doesn't want to be Superman? Who doesn't want to be the hero of the story? We all do. But the things that we encounter in our lives make it absolutely give us very different chances of becoming that person. And because I'm interested in those stories, this all started for me making Monster many years ago about a beautiful child, pure, innocent, high ambitions, wanted to do wonderful things in the world, but the life that she led led her to becoming a serial killer, monster, everything you could possibly say about a human being, but she was not born that way. Um, in the course of making that movie, I ended up getting sucked in to the prison industry, which is what I always say happens to people, which is so crazy. You, you, I didn't grow up thinking I'm going to be all about prison, but once you get near it and you start to see the people who truly deserve another chance, and they can't get it, you know, because maybe they've already changed. Maybe they never did anything in the first place. Maybe they were in a gang. Maybe something, there's no pathway out for those people. Um, many years later, I got to make a movie about uh, a Wonder Woman, a, 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 the same girl, like a similar kind of girl who gets a different path in life and gets a different chance, and she gets to be the hero she always wanted to be. Um, but I never will stop thinking about those people who don't have that path and wanting to inspire everyone to find the Wonder Woman within them. Um, over the years, I tried to make a difference. I tried to do what I could to help. Um, uh, and, but I always wondered, like, it was so, such an overwhelming problem. How do we, how are we going to change such an incredible problem in this, in this world? Who, who can, who can figure it out? And then I met, I met that person who could, and it's, his name is Scott Budnick. And, uh, and 
I was at a, an event that he, he held to educate people about our very, our failure of a death penalty system. Turned out Scott Budnick, who's a very successful producer, made Hangover and you know all these great movies. He um, he he'd had his own prison situation where he got sucked in, where he got involved with optioning the rights of some kids stuck in the judicial system. And the next thing you know, he started to see all of the things that happened. And soon he was teaching juveniles in prison, trying to help them get an education, trying to help them change their lives. And he saw there is no way out. Like there's because even if they do get out. Where will they go? They have, don't have the support that the rest of us have to change our life, even if they desperately want it. So, um, so you know, Scott and I met, and, and we went. Uh, we had a friend, who, who, a mutual friend, who had just been uh, freed after 25 years of falsely accused of a crime at Folsom State Prison. And we went up to Folsom together because our friend Frankie Carrillo wanted to go back and inspire other people that there might one day be a path out. And it was incredible to watch Frankie Carrillo walk through the, the yard at Folsom, but what was stunning to me was Scott, who I only lightly knew at that point. We walk into the prison yard, this is a very serious prison, and all of a sudden, all the inmates from all over the yard came rushing over. Scott, 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 every shot caller, every, all the guards, all the, everybody, Scott, Scott. Listen, um, thank you for, did you get my application? Did you help me get into school? Scott, Scott, did you get my paperwork in? Scott, Scott, thank you for helping my sister. Can you do this? Can you do that? All of those things. Scott said every single one of them, Johnny, yes, I got your paperwork. Thank you, Francisco, don't worry about it. I was like, what's happening? And even the people at the prison are like, you'll never see this again. <laughs> you know, you'll never see it. And I thought, such a quiet guy, you know? Hours later, we went to the Senate floor, and he was like, oh, we're gonna go by the Senate real quick, don't worry about it. We walk onto the Senate floor, and he's like, it's okay. We're like striding into the middle of the room, and they're in a hearing, boom, hearing shuts down. Scott, 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 did you get my bill? Will you back my bill? Maybe I will. Will you vow to give me X amount of dollars for what I'm asking for? Call me about that. Maybe I will. Will you help me? I was like, what's going on, you know? This is, it just blew my mind. I've never seen anybody so more quietly putting their money where their mouth is and changing things for people. And, and then I got to know Scott further, went to, to and learned about his organization, ARC, the anti-recidivism uh, 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 coalition where he, 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 he returned to the group of people that originally inspired him, these juveniles who had no way out, and he built a support system so that when those people got out, they had somewhere to stay. They had a mentor, they had job training, they had, a they had the path to a college degree, they had whatever they needed. And those people, and there are tons of them, are working in film, are going to college, are working all over the place, are doing things, we're getting them on as, as interns on the next projects. They are incredible, inspiring uh, stories of how like, no, like I say in that video, like nobody is born wanting to be the bad guy. And when you walk through those prisons, everybody who knows that I've been there is always like, God, what's it like, you know? Is it like so, what are those guys like? I'm like, it's just super sad. <laughs> it's not exciting at all. Maybe somebody gets stabbed every now and then, but it's like the saddest dog pound you've ever been to of human beings looking at you who are never gonna get out. And no matter what, because if they do get out, we look at them with the tattoos and we say, yeah, whatever, and they're right back in anyway. So I, I'm so excited to have made Wonder Woman and for the incredible opportunity to have made a, a movie that inspires anybody to be the superheroes that inspired me. But I also believe that that superhero is anyone and, and that everybody deserves a chance to be that superhero. One of my favorite things about Wonder Woman is the fact that she is like, they all are, but she is sort of a beacon to the unlikely superhero uh, because she's not likely and because she is doubted and because she is questioned and because she is all of those things, but she never stops standing up and saying, I still will try to be a hero for you. And so every person at a time who gets to do that, uh, no matter whether they started out in the juvenile detention center or they started out on the island of Themyscira. I'm so excited to be a part of it. 
any of you who can donate any of your time or money to ARC and the Anti-Recidivism Coalition and to the works of Scott Budnick, who has single-handedly changed laws and bills and blah, 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 blah. I mean, you can't believe it. Um, it needs help and it needs change and all of the, that work needs change. And so um, I also want to point out Sabra Williams, who's doing incredible work teaching, going into prisons all over, uh, the, all over the state of California and helping to rehabilitate all of these prisoners, the most unlikely prisoners through acting and a beautiful program that she and Tim Robbins started. And um, I want to thank all of my, my wonderful friends and support system and, and my mom again. And uh, thank you all. Thank you so much.